So welcome back to this series of ClearPass demos. Um, this is the second part out of four where I will show you a demo that I set up recently and uh, did it and uh, we will show you the under the hood so how to set it up um, behind the scenes uh, in this session as well. So in the last session we did onboarding on the wireless we uh, provided a, a bring your own Android tablet with a client certificate and use that to get on the network. In this session we will do a similar thing um, and show you how to set up it on a wired Aruba OS switch uh, that I have available and we can get similar results uh, on that equipment as well. So for the demo I have an Aruba 3810 switch um, which is connected uh, through a fire Palo Alto firewall to the internet so we can provide secure network access. Um, the instant AP we will not be using that in this uh, case. Um, we have a clear pass available running on VMware and we have a few uh, VLANs available similar like you would have in uh, a corporate uh, environment. So we have a management network, uh, a corporate network, voice uh, guest and a uh, profiling network for uh, devices that we don't know. So Let's get on uh, with the wired demo and uh, for this demo of course we need a ClearPass server. This is uh, my ClearPass server and uh, we need uh, access to the switch. So what I did is um, that I, um, um, I set up this uh, switch so let's uh, see if we can connect to it. This is my 3810. So we have access to this uh, to this switch, and let's see what is my password. That's my password, and we can do a CD configuration. And um, as you can see, um, we set up uh, the ClearPass server here as a radius server. Um, we have some captive portals rules, so uh, when someone is in uh, VLAN 14, he will be uh, redirected to the ClearPass server where the onboard process is uh, kicked off, and we have uh, set up uh, radius authentication. Um, how did I get this information uh, for this? Um, how to yeah, how to set it up? I went to the Aruba Solution Exchange. We saw that uh, last time as well. So if you are logged in on the Aruba Solution Exchange, and please use your uh, Airheads credentials if you uh, don't have an account um, with Airhead, register on Airheads, and you can get access to Aruba Solution Exchange as well. So here we can filter uh, with the Aruba Switch um, solutions, and I use this uh, solution for uh, Seal, which is a demo environment, and this uh, can help us um, to get the uh, equipment on the network and this helped me to get the basics uh, running and uh, from this I um, created the following uh, following configuration uh, I'll show you so uh, basically it is about uh, defining the radius server uh, then we create a radius group called CPPM um, we set up uh, accounting on the network, we set on uh, authentication in uh, a few different ways. So uh, first we have the, uh, this is for the management authentication. So uh, my login here um, was processed by uh, ClearPass as well. And we should be able to see that here in the access tracker. Uh, let me see what is my login. So in the access tracker. We can see that the user A Herman uh, logged in to uh, to the switch, um, and uh, let's get back to the configuration. Uh, same applies to the web interface, uh, by the way. And uh, these three lines here, uh, these are the most important. So we will do um, 802.1x, which is called port access on the switch. Uh, we will be doing uh, web-based authentication, which is the captive portal redirect that we will be using f uh, to um, get uh, unknown clients through the onboarding process and um, either, uh, either as an, uh, a contractor or as a guest uh, use the wired network and we use MAC authentication as well. Um, and we will be using that uh, next time uh, for the profiling lab. 
Then uh, on VLAN 14, uh, we define uh, the captive portal redirect, so um, window systems or other systems that have a web browser um, that will be placed into VLAN 14 will be redirected into this uh, network. And uh, on this network, uh, we need to uh, allow some traffic. Um, so I decided to uh, allow uh, DNS, which is uh, quite important, uh, and to allow uh, DHCP to get a client address. And uh, then we allow all HTTPS traffic in this case, um, or it can only, uh, also be only to the uh, ClearPass server. Um, but it's quite convenient to use HTTPS because uh, then also most of the certificates can be um, can be validated. Then here is where we uh, really um, activate um, the 802.1x on ports 1 through 18. This is where we configure and activate uh, Mac-based authentication on ports 1 through 18. And this is where we uh, configure the web-based authentication. And uh, we decided to only um, put it into the incoming direction on the ports. Um, so we can still reach the clients, uh, for example, for uh, Wake on LAN, or we can reach uh, the clients if we uh, if they don't uh, are uh, authenticated. So for the services, um, let me show you. Um, there is an uh, 802.1x service which will be uh, used later, um, which is very similar to the uh, 802.1x. Uh, service that we had on uh, the wireless uh, although here in the enforcement instead of uh, returning roles we uh, return uh, VLANs um, in this case so here we have the default profile which is uh, we return uh, VLAN 14 um, if we have domain admins uh, or employees they will be placed in VLAN uh, 11 and contractors will be placed in VLAN 13 which is the guest VLAN uh, to get them a bit separated from uh, our employees. So um, yeah, let's uh, uh, let's bring in a client. I think I have a client here. Yeah, this is a Windows 10 client. And as you can see, uh, we have the network connected right now um, let's unplug it uh, again um, wait a bit till the IP address is uh, is gone uh, let's put on the access tracker here so we can see what's happening and let's put it back in so we see the network is connected now and um, here on the clear pass uh, we see uh, the client coming in uh, with a uh, mac authentication request and here in the output we see that we uh, returned uh, vlan 14 for the profiling so now the uh, captive portal uh, kicks in on the switch and this uh, redirects me to uh, the clear pass server where i can uh, onboard so now, uh, last time we uh, onboarded as an employee, um, now let's uh, onboard as contractor. A very difficult password. And let's see what happens. Um, so uh, now it found out that I'm uh, from a uh, Windows server and it uh, provides me with an executable that can be used uh, for onboarding. So let's see. Some security scanning, so Windows 10 is very, um, yeah, very thorough in uh, in all the uh, um, all the uh, checking of uh, executables. So let's run this executable. Uh, yeah, it will make changes to my PC. That's correct. That's exactly what I want. So let's run this uh, executable. So we see the onboard wizard um, looks a bit different than on Android, uh, but at every platform uh, looks the same. It asks me to uh, continue, press next. It's going to install a certificate, another certificate, and another certificate on my system. 
So we have all the certificates uh, in place that are required to connect to the uh, wired network and to the wireless network. And now it's uh, configuring my system. And in the background, uh, we see um, that we have the pre-authentication and the authorization. So this is the issuance of the certificate. And uh, we even see that we are now connected uh, on the wired network here um, with EPTLS again. And uh, because we are a contractor, we are positioned in VLAN 13, exactly what we uh, expected. And we can see out uh, going here the uh, private group ID, which is the VLAN uh, 1313. Uh, so it is configuring. Let's see why it's waiting so long. So it has configured um, and it's uh, not only uh, configured the wired network, uh, but it also uh, configured the uh, Wi-Fi network. So uh, we should be able now as well to connect to this uh, network, which wasn't uh, configured previously. Um, and let's see if that uh, works. Um, so it's connected now and here we can see um, uh, the wireless LAN connection coming in um, where we are uh, positioned as, an, uh, as a contractor. So on the wireless we are a contractor, on the wired we are a um, our VLAN uh, 13, uh, contractor in VLAN uh, 13. So let's disconnect uh, this again. Um, so what we have seen is uh, that with these services and uh, with the configuration on the switch, we are able uh, to uh, do uh, to recognize that this system was not uh, yet configured. We were able to uh, board, onboard it on the network as a contractor and we were able to uh, authenticate uh, both wired with 802.1x and uh, wirelessly uh, with 802.1x on this uh, on the same uh, on the same network. So that's the demo uh, for the wired onboarding and the wired .1x. In the next episode, uh, we will be looking uh, to profiling. So we will be profiling and recognizing uh, that an IP phone, for example, is put in the network. Uh, recognize that and automatically place that user into uh, the correct VLAN on the wired network. So this will dramatically automate your network access and uh, make it much more secure with uh, much lower uh, manual uh, labor to get this all in the right place. So this was the demo for today. Uh, next time we will be showing Profiler here on ABC Networking on YouTube. If you have any comments or feedback, uh, please post it below the video and we will take care of that and um, make sure that the next episodes will contain uh, the content that you like and you want to have. Thank you very much for watching.